809 coming up on 810 on this Tuesday. Good morning, Chris, from August morning, Roofing, morning. Solar, solar and Roofing, Roofing and Solar. Which do you like first? Do you like Roofing first? Roofing first because it came first, Solar second. The, and it, it, it feels like it rolls off the tongue better, right? Roofing and Solar. August, Roofing and Solar. Just yeah. like the month, August. Remember when it was your month? Yes. Remember when it was? Yes, it's do. October now. Yeah. We can't keep changing it. No. That would be. Where does August come from? Does it? It's, what's the origin? It, uh, origin it, from that? It's actually a family name. It's uh, when I decided to start my organization, I really wanted to have a a, a a a name that meant something. Like when I started my company, it had to mean something to me. I wanted to like do good for people. Like, and so I didn't want a one roofing, all American roofing, and my goal wasn't to do something real quick and sell it or. Um, move on to another organization so it had to be a personal name so my my first name is chris so that you know didn't really sound like a name but my middle name is august really yeah and my that's a family name so my dad was the oldest he's his middle name's august but the real story comes from my grandfather his name was august now he came over from russia in 1913 he escaped the bolshevik revolution that's when the communists took over russia and we had been farmers forever and ever and ever. And so it's the typical immigrant story. He came over here, 17 years old, shirt on his back, went to a banker, and, and we had been farmers forever, for millennia. Went to the banker and said, hey, lend me some money to, to buy a field, and I will pay you back when I harvest. And he did that over and over and over again until 1974 when he passed away. And he had built a farm of over 2,000 acres. So when I was starting my business, I go, man, if I could only do as well as my opa had done, mm -hmm. and that's grandfather for that's Yes, for it is. Yeah. Yes, it is. So, mm -hmm. so if I could only do as well as my opa had done, I, I that would make me proud. And plus, I was I was super lucky. Um, my dad was. I had six aunts and uncles, and all my other aunts and uncles left. My dad was the only one that stayed on the farm, and I was the oldest, so I got to spend a lot of time with my opa. And, you know, he just had really good, strong morals, you know, hard work ethic, treat people right. He was very much about like, uh, you know, cut on, on being on the cutting edge, learning how can we do our, our, our trade better. And so I just got a lot of, a lot of those great things and it really set up our, our core values and our core values, our purpose is to redefine professionalism in the construction industry. I always felt it that we we should be act and be treated such that you know like a, a professional, like a lawyer or a doctor. And the other uh, core values is we're humble and hardworking. We work smart. We take pride in our work. We're customer driven. We uh, give our customers peace of mind, and uh, so those are our core values. So, uh, Opa sounds like a, a great guy. Yes, he was. Uh Let's talk about this a little bit, Chris, because you know what? I don't think, you know, we, t we talk a lot about the actual product, which is great. And we will do that again next week. But but while we're talking about this, let's talk about values and um, and and because you I hate to tell you, but you have a lot of work to do. And here's why um, in the construction business, a lot of companies have bad reputations. Yes. And now it's kind of like the joke where you say, Oh yeah, I have, you know, I'm redoing my bathroom and, uh, you know, they say it'll take three weeks, but it really will take six months because, you know, they come when they want to, sometimes they don't show up at all and you don't get the phone call. You don't know what's going on. And you just, you, you literally live your life around them. So you have a lot of work to do in repairing that type of reputation. I'm sure you've heard you you're you're out and about, so you've probably heard that's what's going on. Yes, for sure, hundred percent. That's that, and that's really what drove me. I mean, I worked for another large company, and I just did not like. I did not the again the values my opa and my dad instilled in me were they did not dovetail with the industry I just got in and what was acceptable. And so that's what really drove me to start my organization and um, to our, our purpose, again, to redefine professionalism in the construction industry. And we really strive for that. So let's say you are putting, let's, I'm um, just hypothetical. Okay. You so say you're putting on a new roof and uh, how long does that typically take? Give, you know, ballpark. Yeah, about a week. Yeah. About a week. So you start, you know, you start with the measurements, you start with the materials 
and your guys come to the house, here's what we expect because of this bad reputation, Chris. Right. We expect that you come, you measure, you bring the materials, and they sit on the side of the house for a week. Right. Then you give us a call and say, oh, well, we're hung up on this job. We'll be there in two weeks. And two weeks comes around. You may work for a, a, a day or so, and then the same thing happens. Can you speak to that, Chris, as far as like, uh, you know, getting over that type of reputation that is out there with other companies? How does August Solar, uh, Roofing and Solar, how do you guys deal with that? How do you make it better? Yeah, well, we put processes into place. And, and obviously, construction is construction, right? Especially when we're doing remodel or re-roof, right? We're pulling something off. We do not know the existing conditions. So we can't find experience. Of surprises, but we have a process. So when you sign a contract, we we, we sit down within the next week and, and, and come up with a, a long-term schedule date. Let's say it's like, we'll do you the first week of uh, December 1st. Um, and then the, the week before, we'll call you and we'll give you an exact date that we're going to start that week. Now, again, that might move a day or two, depending on what has happened with the job previous, because, again, we don't leave your job until we're 100% done, you know, if at all possible. Sometimes we'll run into material issues, right? We'll run short of something and we can't get it right away. But well, let's speak to that. Okay. So if you run into, because stuff does happen, I'm not saying, I'm not saying, you know, there are some things are out of your control, like when you order product and then it's out of your hands for a, a, a little bit. But what I'm saying, how is the communication? So let's say you do have a problem with materials being shipped uh, from another company right. and that's out of your control. Do you immediately contact the customer? How do you, how do you work that in? Yeah. I mean, we're, we're complimented quite often about our communication. We like to over communicate. I mean, it, it, we have what's called a project coordinator within August Roofing, which if you have signed a contract with us, you'll, you'll be assigned one of those. And so it's a point of contract, contact. You can call that person. That person is living and breathing your business. They kind of take it from cradle to grave. So there's a person there with, with knowledge. And again, we, we you know work through the process. And our, our, our goal is to start your job and not leave until we're done. And I mean, if we aren't done for some small thing, it's not because, you know, it's because uh, something that we didn't realize that uh, kind of got us caught with our pants down because we won't start a job until we have the materials or secured or, or known. Uh, you know, I'm, I know a lot of contractors all go, oh, oops, it's the Smiths this week. So right. let's go start. Exactly. And they don't have checked, they haven't checked materials. They haven't checked like the permits. So in our process, we've, been planning and working all those you know those those four or five six weeks you gotta wait for us to get there we're working mm-hmm. we're, we're getting permits just because we don't see you yeah just because we don't see us we're, there's a lot of pre-planning work and that's you know that's 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 what contractors unfortunately don't have is those processes which all a lot of other businesses you know take mcdonald's for example you know it's a it's a the poster child for processes mm-hmm. right hamburgers and the french fries i mean and you get the same you get the same quality and you can expect you get the you get what you expect everywhere you go exactly exactly so in august that's what we're trying to do we work really hard on our process your project manager who's assigned to a certain job correct uh can we call them like what if we have a question oh yeah and uh you know out of the blue uh you know for whatever are we allowed to call them? Yes. Oh, absolutely. That we encourage that mm-hmm. at that point. We want you to be giving lots of communication because you know, I mean, there's weird stuff. Even the homeowner says, "Yeah, that's a great week," but then all of a sudden the week comes around. They're like, "Oh shoot, they're paving my street that week." Right. Right. What am I going to do? Which has happened a lot lately. Uh, yeah, that has happened a lot right. lately. But they're they're doing a lot of repaving. It's, it's mm-hmm. trash day, and yeah. you absolutely can't park on the left side of the street. Right. So we definitely we need that information. Is so it's it's really the communication is a two way, and that that way we can have the greatest. Um, successful project for you. Chris, it sounds to me as though uh, Opa did a great job (laughs) and he passed down some very wise words of wisdom to you and some strict morals. And you continue that through August roofing and solar uh, with great communication, great materials, great product, great 
employees. So what's the easiest way? I know the answer to this, Chris. Mm -hmm. I know the answer, but I'm going to ask you, what's the easiest way to get a hold of you? The easiest way is to ask Surrey, uh, call August Roofing and Solar. Um, or you can obviously uh, get, go on augustroofing.com and fill out a, a request. And, and get a bid we'll, we'll and do it. And if you even, we were talking off air prior to this interview, and even if you think you might need some work done, get that form done because of Hillary, a little bit of a backlog. We've got a lot of people finding little leaks in their yeah. in their stuff. So if you even think you need roofing or solar or something, get that bid in. Get that uh, go, go online and get uh, that information filled out so we can get started. Chris, always a pleasure. We'll talk to you next week. Okay. Yep. Okay.